You see people knocking people, and don't be wrong, we should not do this for the money, but you see people knocking people about money, but it's like, yo, what are you doing? You working a nine to five job every day and you locked in. Right. So there's a business side proponent that I have to take sometimes where it's like I'm focused on, you know, I'm focused on the album. I'm fo- try- trying to figure out the next direction. Like you are constantly, the gears are turning. This business thing along with it can be stressful. You're taking calls, handling so many different people. Man, people are getting paid off of you. Like you got to make sure you're doing things correctly. You got taxes to think about. Like, man, it is a lot of stuff, bro, that that nobody talk about. All they talk about is post a reel every day in a TikTok. You can blow up. It's like, bro. What are you gonna do when that buzz come? How right, because that schedule is, is it is it is real, bro. It's day by day, like it's it's not a it's not an eight hour job. It's a twelve to fifteen hour job per day. Right. Yeah. Now, so, how do you learn all of this stuff so fast with you just being twenty three years old? Like, who's bro. been giving you game? Who's been giving you wisdom when it comes to this? One of the biggest things that's given me wisdom is experience. Um, just, just, just watching it go wrong. Right. Watching something go wrong, bro. Be one of the best teachers. Like literally, you, you could get go through a situation and be like, "Whoa, I just dropped a ball, man. I was late to session. That junk looked bad on me." That junk really teaches you because next time you're gonna be on time if you really care. Right. Where it's like, like, man, I've been losing sleep every day, man. I'm like, this isn't good for my health. You mess around, start going to sleep because experience mm-hmm. got those experiences to help, help convict you. So is that, I think like the business side, like just those are practical things, but like the business, I mean, I think that I literally, to this point, there's moments where I'm just numb to like some of the the uh tensions because right. I face so many. I think that naturally in this business, I think anybody can attest in life, the more stuff you start to go through, bro, you you sometimes ain't even really stressed about it when it when something go down because you're like, bro, I've done experienced something like this twenty times already. Right. You know what I mean? And it's not to to downgrade anything, but sometimes you just feel like, bro, here we go. Like here we go again. It's just just a part of it. So let's be real mistakes happen so you got to work those out right. um, with a label with a label communication like how am i going to communicate with my team something goes down how like there's been plenty of times where some went like plenty of times where you see some you don't handle it right and then now you got to apologize i've been there like right you know, i'm telling you bro this is the stuff that experience has taught me is just like yeah, it's a time thing, man. I don't, you know, a- Andy will mess with me sometimes because it's like Andy will give me wisdom. Andy will give me wisdom on something, and then I won't do it the way he said to do it. Mm-hmm. He tells me he remembers, like, man, you know, I remember though, like when I was your age, like I would do the same thing. It's like you're not gonna learn until you just learn, like until you really just experience it. You just right. learn. So, I, and yes, heed wisdom. If you're watching this, heed the wisdom people give you, but. Just know you're going to learn through experiences and God is going to use them to mold you into a man of God, mold you into a woman of God. So, yeah, bro, It as you can tell, it's a crazy experience. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to be the guy to be up here and say that it all just looks peaches and cream all the time. Right. The, the Christian industry is not that way and, and people don't address that enough.